I mean, you mentioned very briefly about William then. He's one player that perhaps hasn't really stepped up this season. Look, no, no Arsenal fan is really expecting peak William of Chelsea, really. Perhaps maybe get a good season out of him or maybe bring in a bit of that winning mentality or that leadership. But has he ticked any boxes for you, Tony? You know, that just that statement, it, it, it's kind of why have you brought him into the squad? If you brought him for, a, you know, just to make up the numbers, as it were, and because he's got a little bit of experience and you can squad player, I, you know, that's where are you going with that? And, and, I, and I was crying out about the recruitment and, and, and on the show on more than one occasion, you know, the recruitment. Adu's very inexper inexperienced, you know, he's won one year in Corinthians in 2010, you know, and it's kind of actually, he's got no European, and they were he heavily relying on agents to get players into the club. And all of a sudden you got Willan, you got Cedric, all the same agent was, was shipping through his players. And you kind of go, We've got so many kids coming through. We've got two good, but don't, you know, buy these players. We've got kids. You know, you what you do, you spot areas of your squad that's weak. You know, we've spotted one like a left back or a right back. You think, okay, we need a holding midfield player. Okay, we've got that. Got Gabriel coming in. So that's good recruitment, but you don't go and buy Willett. You know, you don't I'll get him on a three-year contract. That's going nowhere. That's that's really poor sportsman. Uh, sorry, sports directorship. There, you know, as a, if you recruiting players, and I've been six kind of times in this, and we all get ones wrong. Don't get me wrong. You know, we all, we all get them wrong. But that's uh, um, that's not if you're building a club to, in my eyes, win the league. <laughs> We're miles off that. But um, you you start you don't fill up the areas when you've got good kids coming through. What do you think is behind his form then, Matt? Because you're talking about, at one point, one of Premier League's most influential men there. Yeah, I mean, I was a big fan of his uh, at Chelsea. There were times uh, at Chelsea that he was, he was unplayable. And, and you just thought, when, when Arsenal took him, um, I, as Tony said, I was surprised at the length of the contract, first and foremost. Um, but I was really surprised at the, at the lack of urgency in his game. Uh, and it's not that he hasn't been given chances. I mean, he started 11 out of the first 12 Premier League games this season. So, you know, he's had a pretty good run at it. Um, and he just hasn't been able to produce. And we all go through spells like that in our careers. Don't get me wrong. It's just been unfortunate for him that one of those spells for him has come, you know, when he's getting to a, a certain age. But, but the biggest thing is when he's, it's come at a time when he's just joined a new club. And that is the time when you need to start quickly. You know, just to, to get everybody on your side, to get the manager on your side, to get your teammates having trust in you and faith in you when you're on that pitch. Um, and it just seems that it just it, his run of bad form has come just at the wrong kind of time for him. Matt, he's got his possession. Sorry, I cut across, but his possession, he keeps the ball like 95% of the time. He's just not, he's, he's just touching it off. He doesn't lose possession. If I, I I'm not big on stats, but if I was the, the coach of the club and I'm looking at that stat and he's got no kind of attempts on goal for 11 games and you kind of go, actually, you're just knocking it off simple and keeping the ball. I don't want you to do that. I want you to have a go. Give it away every time. Give it away. I want your stats in respect of keeping the ball around 50%. Yeah, keep it sometimes. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Those statistics that you talk about, I think sometimes I, I, I look at players and I think, are you just playing for your statistics at the end of the game? <laughs> um, you know, for a, for a holding midfielder, yes, I want you to keep possession 95% of the time. Absolutely. But for the creative players in your team, you have to be taking chances. You know, you, you don't get anywhere playing safe all the time. If you're one of the creative ones, you have to be trying difficult balls that, that will open a defence up. Um, and, and for that, there's no way that a creative player should have a 95% possession unless he's scoring you 20 goals a season and getting you 15 assists as well. And then you can go, yeah, that's brilliant as well. But if he's not putting up those numbers, I don't want 95% from my creative players. You're absolutely spot on. Is this now at risk of being another Mesut Ozil situation, Tony? Oh, yeah. uh, listen, I'd like to focus on the positives. <laughs> I think we've done enough slagging off today. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But you, you, you can know, draw similarities the... between the two. I mean, you just look at the salary packet, really. 
I think I've said on more one more than one occasions. I'm not sure about the the recruitment process at the Arsenal at the moment. Um, I think it's changed, and we have to give it time. But I think 13 sc scouts, top scouts, uh, were shown the door recently, and that that recruitment uh, um, structure was built over 40 years, and it was probably one of the best. And uh, and and it, and it brought up some fantastic individuals because you either get players uh, through your academy, which we're doing quite well, um, or you bring them in from outside. Obviously, you buy them, and I, I just think too many players are going through this kind of same agents, and that's always worrying. You know, it should be a, a strong um, and a sports director to have the same agent as the players that are coming in. I, listen, I always raise my eyebrow and it's right of me to to bring that up and question that, you know, and uh, I, I, I often get worried and I think we, sh you know, we should have someone in there doing the recruitment process that that actually, you know, is, is gathering in their own information, making their own decisions. And I don't think you, that you, you would get a willing into the squad, to be honest with you.